quite often if you've got a child that's an early riser, they will then go to bed again for a nap. So say if they're up at five, they might go back to bed at 6.30. Sometimes you can, this gets confused between what is day and night for them. I would suggest pushing that nap a bit forward so they have a clear definition of what's day and night. And that would go, so if you're going to look at the early riser, I'd go and look at the advice of what we give to the early rising and then shift the, that morning nap a little bit further so they can have a clear definition because otherwise they just amalgamate into one. If you're hoping to get a child into bed for seven, you know, realistically you don't want them sleeping at five o'clock at night and that will impact on them. Um, and there is a bit of a, you know, a myth about sort of if I keep them awake all day, they'll sleep really well. That has the opposite effect because they're so tired, they're overtired, they're overstimulated. And what happens is the, uh, it, it, I counterbalance it with, with cortisol, the excitement, and, and therefore they don't want to sleep. And the melatonin um, isn't actually had chance to sort of, um, yeah, sort of build up, so to speak. And um, so therefore they won't, they, that, you know, they need to sleep in the day in order to sleep in the night. Mm-hmm. <sighs>